Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video will be a full on fall decor haul. Um, I have absolutely no fall decor whatsoever. So I am going to be going all out. I have brought my little baby Marshall. And as you can see, he just absolutely loves going shopping with his mama, not. <laughs> I should have left him home with his daddy, uh, that's where his dad is with the rest of the kids right now watching them and I just decided to give Keith a little bit of a break and bring him but now I wish I hadn't <laughs> but anyways I'm going to get all my fall decor I have nothing you know um, no plans for anything I'm just gonna grab what I like um, take it home show you guys what I bought and then we are going to decorate decided to get he was such a good helper he really helped his mama out so I got two of these cute little scarecrows Keith do you want to um, hold them up for me and show everybody my adorable little scarecrows and we will probably be keeping these in the house so they don't get ruined from the weather aren't those cute you guys yeah, I'm not talking about this guy right here. He's he's taken. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess this would be the female and the male. I thought it was really cute. So, oops. Let me turn that back up. Okay, and then we've got our pillows for the couch. I got this cute little, it's real soft right here. It's kind of like a velvety, um, um, material there and then I got this one got some sparkly going on there and then I got oops I got two of these which I thought were so cute happy fall isn't that cute so I got two of those I got some three big packages of potpourri and it smells so good. It's, um, let's see. Desert flower, I guess that's the scent. But it smells so good. And then I got this cute little flowery pumpkin little decoration. We got two little cute little signs. Autumn is in the air. Probably keep them in the house. And then we've got 
Well, you got a whole note for me. And then we've got this one here, which I thought was really pretty. I got a ton of this um, festive fall gar um, garland. Here's the one with the little pumpkin on it. Hmm, not funny yet. Hmm. There it is. Got a little pumpkin. It's cute. And then we got some candles, of course. I got pumpkin spice, which is my favorite. I love anything and everything pumpkin spice. I got apple cider. I can't, the, the, uh, the camera isn't. Apple cider donut. Yum. I got mold cider. And then um, we got some string lights. Probably putting these on the fireplace mantle. And then we got a whole bunch of these little pumpkin decorations. Little glittery ones. And I thought this one was really pretty sparkly. And a bunch of those. And then we got some hand soap dispensers. They look like pumpkins. Aren't those cute, you guys? And the scent is Pumpkin Harvest. And uh, they are refillable. So I thought that was cool. I got two of those. And then I got two pillar pumpkin spice candles. Which smell really good. I got a larger pumpkin de decoration here. And I got this little sparkly flower, um, sunflower um, arrangement, sparkly. And we got some yummy festive cookies, just for the heck of it. They're shaped like little pumpkins, I that was cute. And we are gonna set up, you guys, and we will show you after everything's all set up, we will um, get back with you.
guys about these, I guess you would call them shadow box drawers. When we moved here, I really loved these drawers, but I was like, okay, what do you put in these drawers? And I just had no idea what to put. So Keith just threw a few things in there and I never was satisfied. And so here just the other day, I thought, you know what? What if I just filled them with like potpourri and maybe some candles? So what do you guys think? I can add more potpourri to the two top ones here and maybe a couple more pillar candles. I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comment section what you think. If you guys have any suggestions, I am more than willing to hear them. I also wanted to see what you guys think about this vase here that I filled with potpourri because I felt like it looked so bare and um, what do you guys think about this? Do you guys, is that pretty? Do you guys like that or do you have any other suggestions for me? I just thought that that looked really pretty and it really smells good in here now. So. Um, anytime I make any changes to this area, I will show you guys. And So Keith and Jacob are just about to have a race. I have never seen anybody faster than Keith, but Jacob is has gotten really fast, so here they go. <laughs> Woo! It was a tie! <laughs> Looks like, looks like you caught legs. up to your old daddy. <laughs> He's got some long legs. <laughs> He's gotten really fast. I know. Marcho! Are you guys limping? Marcho! No, I'm just breathing I really. Am. My calves I kind of hurt my ankle. Marshy! Keith's, Keith's calves are really sore from... Papa. <sighs> well, from working yeah. a lot. Five to midnight? Yeah. For a week? Mm -hmm. Sure. Mark Jones. <laughs> you need to go get a drink of water. Is that your scooter? Mm, is that your scooter? It won't stay up. Say you stay up. Now it's not just gonna stay up. It doesn't have a kickstand. It can't stand up by itself. Are you still trying to get that scooter to stand? Huh? No, it's not going to stand up by itself. It doesn't matter what you do. It won't stand up all by itself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did you find? Say hi, guys. Marshall. Say hi. You got something on your eye. Say hi, guys. Say hi, guys. Marshall. Marshall. No, Mama. He's hot. This is what we do when we get nervous or if we're getting scolded, we put our finger up our nose. Yes. He is so silly, this kid. Silliest kid. Aren't you, Marshall? You're making me hot. So today is September the 7th, Saturday. 
and oh, it's like 5.30 in the evening, and Keith just got home on Thursday from um, the Hurricane Dorian. He was in Florida for about a week. He is the only mechanic for the Southwest part of Missouri, and so he's very, um, they depend on him very much. <laughs> All his crews depend on him, and he's uh, very well needed there. And anyways, when he's gone, it gets really overwhelming, being that we have, we're a family of nine. Um, I feel a little um, vulnerable, you know, when he's gone. Um, Jacob, my oldest son, is my kind of my security backup when Keith's gone, but it still gets slightly overwhelming and a little lonely. Uh, but we're glad that he's home now. Um, he just before he went to um, Florida, he was in Oklahoma on storm for like three days, and then before that, he had been working every weekend for he's been working every weekend for like six weeks so he's been gone a lot um and so we're really enjoying this weekend as a family and well that's why we haven't posted a video in a while too it's just been yeah we're a little late on posting crazy with the storms and the hours and well, it just hasn't been possible because i'm the one that edits all the videos yeah, i really I always need... forget to look at that little dot I do too. I really need to learn how to edit <laughs> because it would make things a lot easier on him if I did, but it's really complicating because we have to do all our editing on our phone because we haven't gotten a camera yet and Keith isn't, <laughs> Keith is not um, sure how to edit um, PC, on yeah. our PC just yet um, and we, he rarely has any time to um, to take a look at that and um, learn how to do that, but um, but we did get our fall festival decor out. Yeah, at least we, you know, um, were able to, uh, you know, get our fall decor video. This is my favorite time of the year because I love pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice pumpkin and... Pumpkin spice coffee. Oh, pumpkin man. Pumpkin spice, I know. And then eggnog, you guys. Eggnog will be coming out soon. And um, what else? Lots of bonfires. Yeah. Bonfires, barbecues, and... Um, I love the colors, too, the orange. Yeah, and all the, the bright colors. And I am a fall baby. I don't know if that's why I love the fall so much. He's a he's actually a spring a spring uh, baby, but he loves the fall. He loves the cooler weather. Um, I used to prefer the cooler weather until I lost a bunch of weight, and so now I'm like always cold. Oh. Uh, but I really have learned to appreciate the summertime because it's just the transformation from California to Missouri was so different. Because in California, the coldest it got was like 40s, like low 40s. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, and and that was at its coldest. Um, we're from Southern California. Um, but the winters out here just get freezing, and it just seems like it goes on and on and on. And the winters just seem to kind of linger out here. And... Um, I don't like the humidity and I don't like the bugs, but I would take the heat over the cold now any day, any day. But anyways, I just got a new watch yesterday at Walmart. It's called a fitness activity watch and I've been seeing them a lot on like Instagram and I've kind of, I've been wanting one where to go. I've been wanting one for a while now, and I finally got one yesterday, but I love this thing because it, it's got a sleep monitor, so 
if you wear it while you're sleeping the next morning it tells you if you had um, a deep sleep if you had like a semi you know um, restful sleep or if your sleep was um, restless um, it comes with of course a clock an alarm a pedometer that tells you when you um, are ex you know when you exercise how many calories you've burned it comes with the GPS um, and a lost alert and it also um, notifies you um, when you get text messages and phone calls and stuff like that so I thought it was pretty cool and pretty excited about it I got the black and white bands it comes with a black um, two different colored bands I got the black and white because I wear a lot of black and white and do you remember how much it was I got it at Walmart for just under thirty dollars it was like oh, that ain't bad. yeah it was like 28 bucks oh wow that and beats the heck out of yeah like I watch and I love this thing, you guys. A thousand dollars for crying out loud, or whatever. Yeah. So that's handy. And it's really light, like really light. I can hardly tell I'm even wearing it. And um, and the rubber band, it's really soft. Yeah, it's real soft, a real soft rubber. And um, like I said, it's real lightweight. Mm -hmm. But I really like it, and I'm really glad I bought it. Did you ever find it? Did I couldn't find anywhere in there if it said it was waterproof. I and don't, surely it's got to be water resistant I don't a little know. bit. Don't know that it's quite yeah. waterproof. We couldn't find that anywhere on it, but we'll let you know if we do find it. But I'll try to keep it out of the water. <laughs> um, oh, oh, that was really loud. Everything's so loud in this house. Everything's very echoey. Like, um, you know, intensified every noise because. This, vaulted this, ceilings. The vaulted ceilings, and we have no rugs. We need more rugs in this house. But um, anyways, so you guys might check it out. I got it at Walmart, little iFitness activity tracker. So yeah. So anyways, Keith, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this video here. Yeah. Um, don't forget you guys, if you're new to this, to my channel, hit the red subscribe button down below. Give me a big thumbs up. Hit that bell um, so you're notified each time my videos are down uploaded. Sorry, and um, I will be filming. My next video will probably be um, extreme cleaning part two, so you won't want to miss that. And um, don't forget, you guys, to follow me on Instagram under Supermom of Seven, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about my new fall decor. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.